Hello everybody, this is Pamela Coey and I have another tip for you. Does this look like your tabletop with things spread everywhere and it's just really hard to organize and as you can see I've got my Messermeister, I've got texture tools, metal tools, and a cutting grid and I've got a value scale and you know just I think for me I, I tend to do better in my studio when I'm organized. So I wanted to share a little tip with you that I recently came across um, while I was in the hardware store. This is what I actually saw and what it was, it's just, um, I think it's meant for people who like to make crafts and it's, um, it was like $5 and on the back side was uh, kind of a hanging frame that was right here and I unscrewed that and here are the pieces of the little hanger that was on the back. So it's very easy to unscrew that. The reason to unscrew that is because on these two slats here, I then picked up this piece of Baltic birch, also from Ace Hardware, and here's the label. It's a 12 by 12 inch by 1 8 inch craft ply, and I believe it's um, probably Baltic birch, but it, whatever it is, it could be basswood as well. I guess it doesn't matter too much. But all I'm going to do, it's very simple to do uh, this kind of rack that can hold all of your tools, is put your wood glue, once you've removed that little picture hanging uh, piece of hardware, and just add your glue like that. I'm just kind of generous with the glue, just in case. Now, I did not cut this board. It's, you can see that it's, um, it is the right width, uh, a little bit inset from that, but it is wider it's wider than you know, the actual um, depth or width of the, um, what's going to be my rack for holding things. But I decided to leave it this way and I'll show you why. I just came up with this idea I thought was kind of cool. So you lay this on top of the glue and then you can weight it down or use clamps, let it sit overnight, make sure it's really, really nicely glued down. Uh, use pressure, that's what the clamps would be for or books, you can weigh it down with books, whatever. And then, once that dries, I'll show you what I do next, okay? Okay, so the glue has set up, and as you can see, I put this little bit of sandpaper down here. It's held in by some clips. And the nice thing about that is you can either sharpen a pencil, or let's say you've got an eraser and you really need it to be clean for whatever. Now you can clean off that bottom edge just by rubbing it against the sandpaper and then you've got a clean edge, you know, sometimes it's really hard otherwise to get the eraser clean. So now let's see what happens when we put all of our tools into the slotted rack here. You can put them anywhere you want and there's just a lot of room. That's what I like about it and uh, you can have a couple of these or just one, but you know, I have a couple Messermeisters, that's the silicone tools and they go in there, both in the same row. This is a little cutting mat. I like to have that nearby. Sometimes I have to have just another little space to put the, um, to cut my masking and that kind of thing. Here's a grayscale. I always have that with me. <laughs> always have it nearby. And then um, this is just something that I also use for my four square paintings uh, toward the end of the painting process. So I can just put that here. So just like that, um, it's very organized. Here's another area where I wanted to have a way to organize things that were just laying on my table. And you know, when you're working and you're trying to grab things, it's kind of hard when everything's full of paint and they're all laying and taking up that valuable space on top of your work table. So I came up with this idea. Let me show you what happened. I thought of using a test tube rack. I found this really inexpensively on Amazon for again, like probably close to $5, maybe even less. And I thought, wow, what a great idea. But as you can see, it's kind of shallow. It's only a couple inches tall when you put it together. It's made of plastic, which that's not a problem. It's actually nice because uh, when you, when you uh, wanna go to a workshop, you're traveling, you can actually take this apart very easily. And then it's just um, two pieces of plastic with four pegs. That's the good part. The part that wasn't working quite so well for me though, was that, you know, if you move it or just kind of shake it like this, things kind of start to, um, they, they can sort of come uh, loose and fall over. And then all of a sudden you've got a bigger mess than what you even started with. 
and I thought, you know, there's got to be a better way. So let me show you what I did. Now I've taken this test tube rack apart, and this is what it looks like when you basically just, you know, dissemble it. It's got the big holes in the top, the smaller ones in the bottom, and these four little pegs. But as you can see, they're pretty short, right? And so what I really thought I needed to do was elevate this top and make it just, you know, instead of it being, say, this height, like that, make it, you know, about six inches tall. So I had this idea to just go to the hardware store and I picked up uh, a dowel rod. I picked up a dowel rod that was a quarter inch and it was longer than this uh, when I first bought it, but then I cut it down and I'll show you why and how. What I did, so I bought the quarter inch dowel rod, just made of wood, and then I also bought this quarter inch tubing. So on here, what does it say? Um, it actually says quarter inch vinyl. So it's quarter inch vinyl clear tubing and it's actually rather stiff. So I came home and I just did some quick measurements and I found out for this particular uh, test tube rack, all I had to do was cut um, the dowel rod into, uh, I believe it was four and a half inches. I'd have to double check that. And by the way, I'll have instructions in my free videos and tutorials section of my website so I can double check and make sure I give you the right information. But I determined the, the right height to fit um, with this plastic tubing basically over the, the peg. So the peg goes here like that. And then you just slip this uh, tubing over the top like that. It's pretty snug. And you do that with all four pegs. So take this guy, put it in there. Let me move this top. Here's the other one. Okay, so there are the four pegs like that. And here's the first extended version here. And what I do with the dowel rod is I just sharpened it in a pencil sharpener. It's very easy to do. And here's the other one. It just slips over like that. And it slips over here. And they're really snug and they're really, you know, sturdy. I wanted, you know, I wanted it to be a, a connector that had the same um, stability as the plastic and the reason for the tubing then is to connect the wood extender to the plastic peg and you know of course you can have it any height you want but the higher you go I think the less stable you're going to be so then I just uh, put this on top of these little tips and that was pretty easy to do as well the reason I have that second piece of um, plastic right here is to you know when I push it down like this it that plastic serves as a the tubing serves as a stopper so that it's snug and you know it it can't go any lower than that because of the stopper with the plastic or with the tubing this um, and they just you know they kind of stay in place better because of this this height right I extended those original pegs that were um, originally just this tall, um, which is about two inches. It was about two inches and with this extension of the wood doweling and then this little sleeve here of the plastic tubing and then sharpening this so that it actually can fit through the same diameter here as the peg, I was able to raise the height of the test tube rack. And now everything is really pretty stable. I mean, these tools aren't going to fall over the way they would have before. And so it's just a little tip and in my resources section I will have this test tube rack. It's very inexpensive. And then all you have to do is buy that quarter inch dowel rod and a little bit of tubing and you can extend it to whatever height you like. I hope you like that tip.